Okay, what I want to show you here is my mobile dog grooming build out. This is my second one that I've done. Uh, I didn't film the first one, but the first one that I built out was virtually the same as this one with just a slight variation, and I'll show you what that is. And, I, and so this is my second build out. The first one crashed and burned. This is a, this is a 1987 40 350. You can see it's a boxcar ambulance, right? And then so was my first one. So all the electrics are already set up on this thing, which is really nice. The Marine Shore uh, came with it. Here's my Marine Shore line that came with it. I keep it plugged in so I can keep everything inside charged that I've got on electric in there. Um, here's my my dirty laundry right here. It's got a separate door. These doors were already built in, which is really cool. The next mobile that I'm going to show you is done completely different. This one here is run off of batteries. So what we did here was took just your regular car batteries, right, and we ran them parallel. The only thing I can tell you about this, because I don't understand the electronics of it really well, but these cables come in, they come in from an inverter box underneath this seat. Come here, let me show you this. This is like a, go ahead and get a picture of that underneath of the seat there. So that came with it. And what that box does is it'll stop, if I have too much voltage going through into somebody else's electric into their home, that'll automatically shut it off here inside of my mobile. And we've done my second, the next one that I built out is different, so I'll show you that when we get to it too. Um, so here this runs off of just your 12 volt batteries, right? From a, like car batteries, just your car batteries. I'm gonna tell you that the first one I did um, I got Marine Shore Deep Cell, Deep Cell Cycle, Deep Cycle Marine batteries, no kidding. They were 200 bucks a piece. I would recommend doing that because they hold a charge a lot longer for you. These guys here, they've never held a charge worth a darn for me. I'm, I'm honest here. Um, but this is what I work off of if I do need electric, so I, I do have some capacity for electric. But this will not run my, my big dryer or anything like that. So you got to really up your batteries system to get more power and so these are just running a parallel line like positive to positive to positive these cables come in off of that inverter box underneath of there and I don't, I don't understand how it all operates so there we go with that I can tell you that these cables run in from a positive and a negative positive and a negative they run through here and they're gonna run into my inverter box inside I'm gonna show you that next so there's so these I keep them charged all the time right anytime I'm at home I keep them on a charger so that I Make sure that they stay charged for me. Okay, so back here, this is just where I keep some extra stuff, like a foldable ramp if I need it, and then some of my, my extension cords, my 100-foot extension cord. You definitely need one of those mobile. You definitely need one of those mobile. Um, and then my oil and stuff. So we'll go around this way. We're going to step on inside the van, Luke. And I want to show you in the back of it. how I'm set up here. So, oh man, I meant to back vacuum the inside of this and I forgot. Okay, so inside you can see my whole setup here. I built a grooming table because this came with a metal box, right? Right here, Luke. I built a grooming table because this came with a metal box. I didn't want to cut it out. We did all that work on my last mobile. It was just too much. So I just built around it this time. Then I got some storage space in here. Um, you know, just a toolbox, and here I'll show you. I'm going to show you something about my equipment too, shortly. That's why I left a dirty dryer there. So there's my toolbox, a hammer, just a couple things that I might need. I keep extra shampoos in under here. That's real easy. I got a spot in there to keep my extra shampoos. Um, but I really, I want to show you how this thing operates. So these cables that came in. From, the, from those battery system, they come up to my inverter and they hook into a positive and a negative on my inverter so that I can always have power here, look, with a, with a flip of a switch, I got power. And then this has four outlets to it. So anything else you see plugged in in my mobile right now is plugged into House Electric from that Marine Shore. And so if I need my inverter, I can use it though when I'm on a job site. And so, the, so that's how the battery system works. Then the bath system, I chose just, it's called a big tub, and I don't even remember where I get it from, but it was a big tub. And this, I've built two of these now, it's out the same way, but my, this next one I'm going to show you is different, but this is a big tub. So 
it gives me enough space I need. So you want? Can you see in here? Okay, Luke. And then here's my drainage, which I will show you how that drainage works because in this mobile, I decided not to install. <laughs> Are you with me? Too? Well, don't look away. <laughs> I decided not to install a um a dirty water tank because they're freaking nasty. First of all, they're really hard to keep up with. They're disgusting. They have a foul smell that comes up back at you. I don't care how clean you keep it. And um. I have a trap in here, so I just put a trap in my sink, it catches all the hair. Nobody minds water in their driveway. Nobody. And if it is a problem, I would I would be out in the street. I would just park in the street. And so, um, my big tub works like that, and then I just drain directly out with a through a drainage here. Let me see if I can get you a better shot down here. Okay, so the system that I'm set up on, I love it. And it's set up the same way as I guess on any mobile because I set up my next mobile the exact same way with this system. So we look down in here, Luke. Like really get down in here and see what you can see. So I've got my water pump here, which is a FlowJet water pump. And that thing has a dial on the end of it right there. That is a dial on the end of it, that screw, I mean, that you can uh, increase or lower the pressure on that. So you'll want to start out at the minimal amount of pressure. That's a 4.5 gal gallon per minute pump, and I really recommend that. And I've had real success with these flow jets. So this way that I've got it set up here, here's my tub underneath. That's a 44 gallon tub. Okay, and this box was already here for me. Remember, this was an ambulance. So I've got my drainage system coming out of here, and I'm going to show you something on my next mobile a way better I'll show you we've done it again exact same way but you can get a better look because it's all open right now okay so then we run this through this this is um, in like an intervention hose okay so this this I can fill my antifreeze up and I can actually antifreeze my system just by shutting one of these valves and opening the other shut the water valve from the tank right close that off open my antifreeze system so that I can pump in through all of this and my water heater, which I'm going to show you next outside, I can I can antifreeze the whole entire system up, so I don't have to worry about it electric going out and anything freezing up if I don't have a low profile heater going, anything like that. This is a great way to intercede any kind of complications if you have cold weather. And I'm going to show you how I do this right now because I have to do it right now because I wanted to wait. So all I do is stick my 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 antifreeze hose into my bucket the antifreeze bucket the antifreeze yeah antifreeze gallon I open uh, this lines open the tub the tub line is closed so I'm not gonna get any water it's got to now it's forced to suck in through the antifreeze that's all so now I can go ahead and get my system running it's gonna slow way down while it's doing this antifreeze I hope we got enough light in here Luke as oh, soon as I see the water. pink come out then I know I'm good. Right about there. See that pink? I'm antifreezed up. It doesn't matter how low the temperature goes, which it's about to drop to five degrees here in St. Louis. <coughs> um, so it's not going to matter how low that temperature goes because my system, I have froze systems up in the past. That's why we came up with this idea because even with a heater, I froze systems up and that's expensive you know you don't and, and all the hassle and changing it out so I'm going to show you around I think I covered oh, look here I want to show you in here too real quick this is where my towels are at so I got a towel section and then under here I got um, a, a vacuum not a vacuum yeah vacuum yeah shop vac little shop vac so out here I'm going to show you the water and then the heater follow me this way And the heater that I got, oh hell, you can't even see this thing, but that's alright. I'm going to show you from the inside too, because I can actually access this from the inside. So this goes down to my propane. This is just a, these are two separate lines. One coming in, pulling from the tub, right? From the, uh, pulling from the tank, the water tank. One going out, going to my shower, my bathtub. And then this is my propane line. This is my propane line here. And we've cut that right through here, right through here, and hooked up to my propane. This is a 12 volt battery. This I also keep on a charger, so I got a dual charger going is what I got. Um, 
but I keep this on a charger also because that's for my water pump, for my pump inside. Now, I've never had it die, but I don't ever want it to either, so I just keep it charged. So that's how that runs. This is the hose I was telling you that comes from my tub. All right, and it drains from my tub and it drains straight down, straight out the bottom. And then I want to show you inside real quick, Luke, how I access this heater. You can't get this uh, particular water heater anymore, or I would have done it again because they're great heaters. This has got an access door for me here. And I pull that out. And then I can get a little bit better access to this heater. This is a 18 liter. You know, you can do a 16 liter also, but uh, the 16 liters, they don't pump as fast, so I like the 18 liter better, but they quit making the 18 liters. However, I'm gonna tell you, when you're doing a mobile grooming build out, for sure, make sure that your pump can, is strong enough to pump up to that heater that they're on that same uh, gallon per minute, pretty much. So, in other words, if my pump's pushing out the most it can push is 4.5 gallons per minute and I have a water heater that says it needs five gallons per minute to pump then I have I won't have enough pressure from my pump to reach that water heater to set it to ignite it so you, you have to really be equal on those or have a more a stronger pump than a than a heater um, so I wanted to tell you that and so this works off of a uh, also it's got a battery igniter to a nine volt nine volt or D cell or something like that. So that's how you get into that. And then you saw how my system works. So that that's what I wanted to show you on this one. And then when I build out, when I show when we film this next one, you can see that build out, and that's a lot clearer. But I wanted to show you definitely a battery operated system with an inverter because my next one is a generator on board, an on board generator built into my van with an exhaust system in it that um. Uh -huh. I have no problem running it. It's a 6,500 watt generator, by the way. Um, but we'll get to that later, and then I'm, and then we're gonna just go ahead and, and cut it there.